Jaja, my dad, I'm sorry for you. Licky me no man. I'm sorry for you, my dad. Jaja. So the picture that you see on your screen right now is of Beanie Man's daughter. Her name is Desha Ravers. Based on the information, based on some unfortunate incident that took place maybe about a day or two ago in front of Tabo Night Club, club that is on Constant Spring Road, a man was seen blaze up right in the middle of the street at about 4 a.m. Based on the information, it is said that it seems as if he left the club. While he left the club, some people were lay waiting him, waiting in the cut. As soon as he came out, they blazed him up a couple of times badly. He was pretty much gone on the spot. Based on information, it is said that that man's name is Keshan. There's a whole bunch of information that is circulating all over social media about that personnel. Yes, he is said to be a son-in-law of Beanie Man, Beanie Man's daughter, Desha Raver's husband. However, the information that is out is that his name was being called up in a demandable era for somebody losing their life. As a matter of fact, there is even worse information out there about this individual. Based on information, it is said that he had a very good friend that was chopping the line in excess of $1.4 million. It is said that Keshawn was responsible for that man losing $1.4 million. I think it's US people. Do not quote me. That is exactly what is circulating all over social media. If you look at your screen, these are some screenshots from some conversation that people were saying about this individual and why he might have lost his life. They said that he robbed one of his friends in excess of $1.4 million. And then it is said that he also put out a hit on that individual. However, the hit was missed. So therefore, that person escaped with his life. This is after Keshawn was said to have robbed that person of $1.4 million and then tried to take him out. However, the person that they tried to take out survived and then put back a hit, sent back a couple of hitman upon Keshawn. So therefore, Keshawn was on the run for some sorts of shooting that took place in a mandible, some sorts of robbery, some sorts of people putting out some sorts of hit on Keshan. So people, it is a whole bunch of mix-up and blender. Now here is a problem. A lot of times, these people, them used to go to the same school. These people used to spar together. These people used to chop the line together. However, whenever there is any sorts of greed becomes involved, then people start flip. People start go to the opposition. People start pay people for take what people. People start spread all sorts of rumor and propaganda upon each other. So therefore you see that it becomes a dog eat dog world. And people are putting out hit because they pretty much double cross the people. So therefore you double cross somebody. When that person finds out that it is you, then you put out a hit on that person. However, the hit kind of miss. So therefore that person come back and rally back upon you and put out a hit upon you. So therefore, everybody is saying that it is karma. This man was a snake. Don't know if being a man know what this man was up to, but based on the information, it is said that he was a minor in the choppings. His friend that he robbed the money from, his friend that he tried to put out some sorts of hit on, however it missed, that was that friend that then went back and put out a hit upon him. And that hit was a success. Now, people, here's the thing about this whole generation in a Jamaica. It is a dog-eat-dog dog world. It is a crab-in-a-barrel thing, this chopping things. There is no sorts of honor among Steve. As a, as a matter of fact, there is no sorts of honor in a the chopping. It is all about greed. It is all about backstabbing. It is all about friend, enemy, friend, K-I-L-L-E-R-S. That is 90% of the persons that are involved. 
most of the time it is always friendly fire it is always people that you also grow up together know each other's mother parent know the whereabouts of everybody in a everybody family so that is why you always see all of these multiple takeaways whenever there's any sort of reprisal because everybody knows everything about everybody here's the thing about these strip joints a lot of times a lot of the patrons that go there yes you have some decent people some big time businessmen that just want to go there have a few drink watch couple girls shake up them ass and b r e a estasis however a lot of times most of the person that are there they are drug dealers of the worst kind they are choppers they are dons they are gunmen Whenever, whenever anybody get any sorts of bingo, that is the place that they like to go. So therefore, if everybody that is doing something that is wrong goes to the hot spot in a Kingston, because let's face it, Tabo probably is the top strip giant in a Kingston. In a Ocherius, maybe Shields and then um, Moby and other places, different, different one. I'm not really familiar down there, so, but I know about Tabo that is on Constant Spring Road. So it is no problem if you work hard, you have to play hard, you decide, say, all right, I want to sip on some sorts of champion, I want to see a couple sexy girl, shake up them ASS, rate, lay, lay, blue, blah, bling. But what you have to ask is the question is this, how comfortable am I going to be? Am I going to go to this place for a couple of hours? Put my life in jeopardy and get caught up in a some sorts of crossfire. Because here's the thing. With these people that claim that they are gangsters, they are gunmen, rete, lele, blue, blah, bling. With the advent of social media, them life go up on social media and brag and exalt themselves. They are always putting themselves in a position that is always bragging and boasting, showing off. And persons that they know that they don't like and those persons don't like them either. And either one of them want to take away each other. So therefore, at the opportune time, if the other one catch the next one slipping, you know that it is going to be M-U-R-D-E-R is the case. So people, like me say, it is good to rehab. It is good to go out, go out and have a good time. However, what what cost, at what expense? Is your life worth losing for some sorts of knucklehead that gets you caught up in a some sorts of crossfire? Point blank and period. When Bliff get shoot up, then take the victim and go with him. Yes. Why them leave him and he did have gone? Yes. For justice! Yes. Let me know. Further on in the news, it seems as if there's nothing good that is going to come out of any of these political motorcade, whether it's JLP or PNP. We see some people lose them foot, man drop off a bus, little boy jump off and bust up him head, D-E-A-D, off a some sort of minibus. So it seems as if they had one of one more of these motorcade in a some place in Augustown. However, the Popo were waiting for these people for a cup or the Popo were acting on some sorts of information, intelligence that some bad people did. It. So therefore they went undercover and then bust up some can and take with some people. Now people, you and I know the script. Sometimes the Popo might be lying. However, sometimes the resident them just full of S-H-I-T. So I'm going to let you hear what some residents had to say about an incident that occurred in Augustown where an individual lost his life. Take a listen, take a look to what they have to say, and then I'll give my piece. Please get shoot up, then take the victim and go with him. Yes. Why them leave him and he did have gone? Yes. For justice! Yes. Let me know. Um, I was at my shop yesterday. When I come up, I see lots of crowd, right? I saw my sister on the ground. So from me see my sister on the ground, I hear shot. I know so somebody for me get shot. So when I come up, I see the car I drive off. It was an unmarked car. So the, when I come and get the video, them, the police don't have on any uniform or anything. They come. The video I show, so they come, they fly out of the car, the wallet of the youth, them, they hear so because motor care that go on. 
so like them a plan for the motorcade. You understand me? So the whole of them the right of the lane mouth here so. Mm. Here so the police then come, them not even identify themselves. One I the police tongue bore. You understand me? Police have ears ringing in them ears. Police here plot up up in a ear. Oh you gonna know that is a police. If you see police, if you see man like that, where you say a drive by a come in, or a man a come in, so you gonna run, don't it? If I know that they, they did find a gun, well, I would have said, well, him have a gun pan him, so anything is anything, right? But them don't come out with no gun. Now, people, first thing first, I was not there, so therefore I cannot say with 100% surety that the account of the popo is 100 or the account of the people is 100. We know that it is always grey, never black and white. These people are called special ops. They are called undercover for a reason. Because them not in any sort of uniform. They want to shock and awe you, surprise you, catch you slipping. Whether or not they caught this man slipping or not, it is yet to be determined. That is up to the investigators in the come people like those. Me, based on somebody, see what is going on in a Jamaica. We know say are some bad people out there. So therefore we need some sorts of paw paw with some sorts of edge. Whether them braid up, whether them bleach out, whether them having any sorts of earring or even them bore them tongue. We know say are some ice cream squad we have. So therefore we should not be surprised. Once they get the work done and people, once nobody is taken out unjustly. I am all for it. I am sure that it is endorsed by most Jamaicans. So therefore, if them can get the bad guy, whichever way, whether it is unorthodox or not, these poor poor are not obligated to say yes. At least we get our fine. Them not have to show nothing. All they have to show is that at the end of the day, we get the end product. We get one of those bad persons off the road. If that person is indeed bad happy redundance for them so therefore when you hear this politician has say the poor poor them antagonize the people them and they've had several conversations and he is very disappointed we are very disappointed what we see transpiring as it pertains to this motorcade we see that it seems as if it is nothing but lawlessness whole lot of people getting DEAD or even losing their life. So therefore, if one as politician cannot monitor one thing, I only need the Pope of step in and pretty much step on some people that are acting up. There is nothing wrong with that. Wherever there's any sorts of bad, bad people needs to go and the Pope need to act as if them bad to. Them have to kind of pretty much blend in with the whole situation. So people may just say, do the right thing or the wrong thing might happen to you. And it seems as if that is the case as it pertains to Jeremy in this case, point blank and period. Don't try move. Further on in the news. It seems as if this political motorcade, whether it's JLP, is a recipe for disaster. It seems as if it is or they are some sorts of D-E-A-T-H trap. And the people are learning the very hard way. Them ears are, them now listen, them now no head. So apparently, a next motorcade, PNP, I think, in a Lawrence Tavern that is in Upper St. Andrew, or rural St. Andrew, sorry. Pretty much this man on a bike, he was riding probably dilly dallying when he clawed up in our next vehicle, a minibus. It seems as if he broke up to him foot them and the people that you heard were begging for him, asking for somebody to take him to the place of recovery. However, the poor poor eventually came, fling him in the back, a gang goat style, and they took him away. Moral of the story is this, people. If this is what is happening in the first part of the election, it is a prediction of things to come and people, if it looks this bad, just imagine what is going to happen when it gets in the peak. People are going to be D-E-A-D-I-N-G.
point blank and period. Further on in the news and on the topic of a hard ears make for a soft ASS. Now people, you and I know that the popo and the taxi man, them I live like puss and dog for about a couple of decades now. However, in the 2000s and so, it even get even worse. There are a couple of instances in which taxi men, when they were pulled over by the popo, them disobey, them take for themselves. Even instances where them lick down people trying to escape running from the paw paw. Lick down even the paw paw, broke up the paw paw foot. And you heard the chairman of the paw paw federation telling us, listen, if you confront the paw paw with any sorts of big tool or even if you use your vehicle as any sorts of weapon and injure one of our cops, we are going to take action for pretty much take you away. So people, based on the information, it is said that the poor poor pulled over somebody close to the Brooklyn supermarket, which is in Alfred Tree. He disobeyed and even worse, tried to use him vehicle for lick down the poor poor and people. You know exactly how that goes. Pretty much, them blaze him up and take him to the place of recovery. Don't know if he's going to recover or he is going to be locked up after them take him out. Me don't know the situation. As soon as I get some more pertinent information, I'll be sure to divulge ASAP. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like these, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. And last but not least, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dance All Source. I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. Bless up.